Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And today I am back with another Cricut project, Cricut unboxing. So I'm actually going to unbox my lovely Cricut Maker 3 for you today. I'm gonna to show you what's in the box. I'm going to show you how to set it up with your computer with Cricut Design Space so that you can use it to make all these fun Cricut projects. And I'm going to show you how to do a test cut with the new Cricut Smart Vinyl. So if you want to see all of that, stay tuned. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Is it just me or are these boxes always just a little hard to get into? I guess that's good. That means they're uh, protective. Maybe it's just me. Maybe they're just hard for me. Maybe I'm just <laughs> Jesus. All right. How pretty that is. Had a little bit of tape, but just a little bit. All right, now we're kicking, kicking with gas, cooking with gas. I can't talk today. You are meant to make. That's fun. All right, so when we open the box, we've got. Cricket. So this is usually our like little welcome packet. Usually maybe it has some fun stuff in it, like some materials. Let's get started. Activate your machine, cricket.com slash setup. We'll do that. Troubles and troubleshooting, cricket dot. They usually make it pretty easy to set up. So then we've got one piece of smart vinyl and our warranty info. Okay. Okay. So I think, yeah, smart vinyl. So don't need a mat for this. I can just like put this in my machine and it'll just cut. I'm excited. I mean, I know, okay, I know the Cricut Joy does this. I have my Joy, but it's just, crazy to think I can do that with Cricut. So this is all cardboard. Cat's gonna love this. Here's the actual machine. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, let's lift it out of here. I'm gonna put it to the side for a second. So in the bottom of the box, we've got our our USB for if you want to hook that bad boy up to a computer. We've got our power cord because we need power. And ooh, more materials. Okay. Sticker card stock. It says on the back of this one. I don't know what else is in here. Let's see if we can look without taking it all out. Nope. All right, so we've got some more smart vinyl, I'm guessing. Oh. Smart vinyl, and this is removable. Transfer tape, nice. This is like a navy. Smart iron on, okay, black on this side, so that's just the backing. This has that clear carrier sheet, so that'll be the front. And then this is the sticker card stock. So a, a sticker card stock, an iron on, and a vinyl, and a transfer tape. That makes sense. That's the three materials that they're putting out as smart things right now. Who can wait, cannot wait, for smart infusible ink? I don't know how that'll work with keeping it dark, but I believe when you click it, you can figure it out. I wanted to try it. All right, so that is the bottom of the box. Go ahead and set this bad boy aside. Is anybody else a box hoarder and feel like you need to keep these in case you ever move and you just need to pack up all your machines? I kept my other, all my other machine boxes for years and then I finally got rid of them like two months before I bought this house, so. It's all right, it's not like I'm gonna let the movers or my friends move my machines anyways. 
I packed them all up in blankets, and moved them in my car. Proper. Worry wart. Okay, so here is our maker. Beautiful. I'm gonna cut into the plastic over here so that I don't scratch anything. Wouldn't that be awful if you just scratch like top of this? I would be so upset. And if it happens, it happens. But obviously I don't want to happen like when I'm unboxing them. All right, so here's the machine. And I'm assuming that all of this is going to be similar to the maker. Yes, so we've got a fine point blade in here. We've got slot A and slot B. The whole machine is kind of a light silvery blue. You can see it's not white because this is white. It's got a little room down here for all our blades and materials. And then everything else is exactly the same, just should be able to work with matteless vinyl. So if we compare this, Cricut Maker 3 to our Cricut Maker, exactly the same. You can tell that this is like a blue gray. It's not a white, which I actually really like. Obviously, I wish this had the rose gold top. It's not even rose, it's just rosy pink. But other than that, I mean, they're literally the same. Everything about them. You can see the differences a little bit here, but really they look the same inside. Same compartments, same everything. This one can just do matteless vinyl. We're gonna test that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this bad boy up to power and we are going to set it up with my laptop so that we can cut with it. So let's go off to the side just a smidge. Now, typically, There's two spots in the back for your cords. Apparently I can't undo cords either. This, there we go. Like it should just come apart. I just keep catching everything. There we go. So let's go ahead and power in. Perfect. And then we'll probably, I'll probably set mine up to do Bluetooth, but for today, when we're doing setup, I find it easier just to use the cord. Is that just me? My technology incompetent as well as cord and box incompetent? When in doubt, just do it the easy way, guys. Just do it the easy way. Some of you are probably like, Bluetooth is easy. Shorts. All right, I'm going to hook the power up and then we will go to the website. Got my laptop here. Let's get started. All right, so to activate your machine, go to cricut.com slash setup. On it. Okay, so we're going to, it says set up a new Cricut project, browse products, start designing, and more. So this is trying to get me to open Cricut Design Space, which is fine. Let's try that. I've already got Cricut Design Space open, but let's see. All right. So we're going to set up a smart cutting machine, our Cricut Maker 3. It says step one, clear 10 inches of space behind the Cricut Maker 3. We got that. Plug it into a wall outlet and power it on. 
power. Got it. Connect your USB to this computer. It's usually very simple. And I'm competent today. Sorry, guys. All right. It is not registering. Do, do, do. There we go. Now it's working. Please check your machine is connected and powered on. It's thinking. There we go. Select Cricut Maker 3 and continue. Updating. Now it's going to update design space. And it's going to Looks like reboot my machine, stay connected and powered on during the update. Okay, do that. Screen grab there. I can show you guys what it looks like. All right, now it's up to date. That was quick. All right. There's my email. Perfect. That's me. Registered and set up. Select an image to get started. I've already got one, but thank you. Okay, so it wants to do a test cut. Well, let's go ahead and do one. Let's do a beer. Let's do a sunflower. I'm guessing this is what the um, the test vinyl is for, right? Our test vinyl. Let's go ahead and move this over. My best friend likes sunflowers. Well, I'll make her something with a sunflower. in and it will cut our sunflower. Whoop. Press the flashing go button on it. Cut in progress. I mean, I know it said it was faster, but geez Louise. Did y'all see that? That was like, zoom. excited about this matless vinyl with that speed I really want to do a basswood cutting now because I want to see how that translates to these long wood cuts that's it peel your sticker from the backer that's exciting okay so I can peel it but I mean it's vinyl I don't have anything to put it on let's see can you all see those lines there's our sunflower 
I'm gonna put this on something for my bestie. I've got some vinyls to make. Some vinyls. <laughs> some tumblers to make. That's exciting. Okay, peel your sticker from the backer. Start designing. All right, so here's all of our projects. I am actually going to make this local honey decal. I'm going to make it large, 30 inches by 30 inches to put on a large table because I can finally cut long strips without having to piece them together. So if you guys want to watch that, I will put a link down in the description, but we are all set up. That only took a couple minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox all my matless vinyl and then we will start cutting this next project. So before I go, I will go ahead and just show you what I've got. So this is what I've got to play with. Smart iron on, this is nine feet long. So they've got, I mean, they've got like 75 foot long rolls. 21 feet long, smart vinyl. Mainly I've ordered vinyl and iron on in a few different colors. Smart vinyl, so I've got the smart vinyl in black and white, 21 feet long. Apparently I didn't get iron on in white, I thought I did. I've got heat transfer vinyl in pink. That's iron on as well. Those are both nine feet. And dun dun dun. Smart vinyl in the purple. I could have sworn I ordered a white in this. Maybe I've got another box coming. Then I'm really excited about this. It is a roll holder for your smart materials. So it goes right, I believe, over your bottom of your maker here and it holds these rolls so that you, it just feeds into your machine. Let's go ahead and open this to see. Yeah. So I did not realize when I ordered it that it looks like it has a slicer, which is kind of epic. You can just like roll. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see you cricket. So let's see exactly, does it just set on here? It looks like it just sets on here. Oh, that's genius. So it looks like it feeds through here and then into your machine and you just set your roll here. And then when you're done, you just slice across and the colors match. So this is amazing. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Oh, it even has little wheels so it turns easy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make that long honey decal I just showed you. And hopefully it turns out amazing. Bye y'all.